Like we said, Ambox gonna be starting the attacker. T1 on the defense. Android gonna be pushing on through, gonna use the blast packs. He actually wins that first duel, takes down ACK. So they've been able to take down that big utility player. And now it is gonna be Spider, gonna be able to be a little bit of element surprise, able to get another before he falls. And all of a sudden now, it's only just down to two, boy, and also Seb. Out. Gonna be Seb, gonna be able to push on through now. Boy, he's still creeping on, but the spike, it's down. It's not in a good position. You can see T1, they're completely grouped up on this. And this is difficult, but they are gonna group up together. Play a little bit of the buddy system, like we said before, but gonna go for the YP, but Braxton Skadoodle. Find those last two frags. Heaven, it's a five versus four. And now going to be repositioning themselves once more, but it will just be Spider. Actually does make that connection with the Bucky. Finds the head of the Viper. So now they're fully aware that they have at least two players close by. So they've completely changed up their game plan. Going to be walking through sewers. They still have plenty of time, but Brax, you can see he's in position. It's going to be how critical they place this dark cover. Going to find it. He makes the first connection. Gets the spike carrier. That's a good way to start it off. That's going to be a double. Brax comes up with two, but will not make it three. But he's been able to do his job. Able to be that anchor that they need. So only one player remaining. And it's going to be Android versus three T1 players. Time is ticking. He finds the head of days. He's going to have enough time to get the spike down. Things are getting very interesting. Super interesting. Android aim. Just like the name in the game here. Two versus one, everything to fight for. Two satchels available for him as well. Little bit of armor and sick HP. Super winnable. He's been in this situation many a time, lads. But is this going to be run of the mill for him? Is he going to be able to close this one? It's going to come all down to the milliseconds. I mean, you can see he's actually getting, trying to jiggle peak. So now he's going to be completely spotted both players towards heaven. So now they have to go on the buddy system perfectly. But Spider just going to lurk on through. The taste of Venom makes the connection. So T1 going to be able to pull through inside of B. And it will be Daze that's actually going to be the one close by. He actually makes that first exchange. He's going to make it work. Going to throw the Swarm. Nano Swarm nade, but he's not able to make anything else happen. Brax close by, but not able to find that trade opportunity. And now you can already see the attackers. They're getting ready for a full execute into this B site. They find the head of AZK. So now more pressure again from Spider. To hold it to be the anchor he finds the head of one can he find the second no it will be poached to take him down and brax again gonna be on the save to save or not to save that is the question he's 30 uh, seconds looking left slightly Spike aggressive planted. debating whether he's gonna go for that exit dazed was playing here before as well though so keeping yourself fresh not getting stealth Box once again going to be pushing on through mid. Skadoodle going to get completely caught off guard. And Android able to take him down. Gets that first entry. He's been very successful on that. So he's been able to push into B stairs. And now T1. They're completely split apart. And you can already see the big flank from Android is going to be commenced. Spider still waiting. AZK right above him. The spike hasn't fully made its way yet. It's still in B main. A lot of slow movement coming through. They hear the reload. But now it will be Spider. They're going to get completely pinched. And this is just dire. It's a one, it's a two on five situation. Spike, Spike going to get planted again. Days, he's close by. But he needs yeah. to deliver something absolutely big. Not for the BM call, but the bad versus teams, they've been almost every round. The post plan, they're, they're unremovable. You can't take them out of sight, lads. Or irremovable, I should say. That's okay. You're forgiven. But either way, Brax trying to survive. Now they're on the full hunt. Brax finds the one. He just needs to see. Can he make another? Yes. Brax lighting things up with three. Absolutely oh, disgusting. The hunt is being hunted now. And the Anbox, they're going to be able to pull this round through successfully. But they've been able to lose some bodies. They've been able to lose some funds. But like we said, funds are still good. But this is a good way for Brax to burn that economy a little bit more. Able to find the fourth. Can he get this ace? He's trying to survive. Oh my goodness, he survives. No, not like this. And now it's going to be full action commence. Skadoodle makes the showstopper into one. Can he get the second? No. The blast pack not able to make it work. Brax going to be stuck inside of screens. And Ambox have now pushed their way through. They might not expect this, but Seb reads them like a book. And now they're going to be able to push on through. Easy K 
a big delivery. He needs to come through, but Poach is going to be able to take that round. Oh, unfortunate, especially in this turn of the drive. Be nice to leave another frag or two, but right now, looks like they're going to be fragged for, for what it's worth. Taking site back, they've not made too much of an effort to go back for that A site. You talked of very difficult. It's hyper difficult to get back into this, especially with a sheriff on a, a light buy. Here. Yeah, not, not ideal at all. Look, look at all this. Look at this stat class. Oh it's a, my it's goodness. a party at a -Rab. Yeah, full party on the dance floor. I mean, look at them. They're just looking for a good time. And yay, we'll find that first. The Breach Flash going to come on through. But boy, actually still makes that connection. Brax, he's going to be fully blind. Now they're just looking for frags. All just down to Spider. He's still able no. to take one before he falls. Not a battle. We get free sight control. And now, still looking for more. Not going to be able to make that work, but it's been able to get some good intel. So now Brax missing his shot, looking for another opportunity. But now it will be Skadoodle. Only finds the one. It will be the head of Poach that falls down. So now we have an advantage situation. But it's Seth that's coming in with the big spray. And now all of a sudden, Android on the big clutch by himself. Spikes down. He gets the first frag. He's got two more to go. One player going to be right on top of him here on the ramp. But it will be the paranoia to make its connection. But he's able to get across. But Daze will now take him down. Shameful Finally, a round comes through. T1 respawn back. 7 to 4. Still in favor for Rambox. What's the matter of time? Just getting right. Opportunity. That nade going to miss. Not very well. Skadoodle taking a significant amount of damage. Android replies back. He's now regained position, but oh no, Deadly. it's completely crumbled apart. One and yay, he's able to get one, not able to get two, but Daze, he's got a tall task, and it's going to be too much for the glass. T1 there, if that flash can be used one up, and just look at that, just walking off slightly, no that timing, I think that might be enough to, to hold him up, keep him bay. Oh, but boy, able to take two, making one it three. Remaining. No Long. pressure whatsoever. A flawless... Boy actually playing quite an aggressive angle. Actually going to get caught with the flash. We're going to use that paranoia. But going to get caught. Brax going to be putting that frenzy to work. They frenzy on through into this site. It will be Android that's going to be close inside of B Alley. But he actually makes it work with the blast pack again. He's been able to do this a few times. Spike does go down. So a little bit of money. He's able to push for one. Able to push for two now. He's got the showstopper. Going to be clearing the angle. And it's all just going to be down to Spider. Bucky in hand. But it's going to be Android with the quad. With the defuse. And now 11. Two away from taking map. Number one. Now, who wants it more than? And even Ye, he's been holding the same position. But he's been playing this very well. I mean, he, there hasn't been any issues from him at all. Nothing going to catch him, but actually will get caught with a flash. Oh, but Brax finds the right opportunity. Brax opens it up with two now. The duelist has been able to succeed with two duels. Now the long rotate comes through, but they are close by. Not too long. A three-on-three -three situation. Brax, he could try to go for the ultimate if he wishes. But he's going to be playing the tight angle. His teammates going to be close on by. And this is tough. Brax, he needs to go for this fight, but he's not going to be able to make it work. And now all of a sudden, down to Spider and EZK. They're grouped up together. They're holding hands. It's a bit of a party in the back of the alley. Can they make this work? Are they going to be prepared to go for this? It's a fake defuse. AZK gets the one. So now they go for the swing. But it's going to be the clutch. AZK on the one-on-one. -on -one and he delivers. And they survive the skin of their teeth. But it'll work. One of that. that much damage with no healer in the game? Yeah, that, that's massive. Actually, Boy now has actually gotten a lot of control, but we'll use his teleport. Going to get out of that situation. So T1, the slightest disadvantage with the player advantage. And actually, even AZK, down to 19. No agents that can bring their players back. No agents that can go for the heal, obviously. And that Viper wall going to be used from Poach. Oh, and actually going to go for the Viper pit also. Okay, so really... Taking Kildra's uh, name into her own hands, going for the lockdown, trying to get that ground control and hold them back from any efforts there. Days still got that mid control. We talked to this all game. They've done a good job of pushing through. He just capitalized on those frags and getting into sight there. Duelist side by side with Kildroy. 30 seconds left. It's been such an issue though. The players in B, I think they've cemented themselves to the ground. They haven't been moving. 
Android not going to be able to make anything work. That's going to be the blast pack that works. And look at this, Yay. He's just waiting. He's going to be able to pick up this easy frag. The aftershock comes in. Yay. Oh, oh. completely delivers. And that sheriff is definitely packing a punch. And now Seb going to push on through. They're trying to get the spike down. But Daisy's by himself. He's not able to make it. And somehow they pull up the thrifty. But Doodle now going to use it. Brack's going to get over aggressive and now the blast pack comes in it will be skadoodle able to take down boy so they're going to be able to push on through but it's going to be poach runs in and he somehow still wins that duel but skadoodle gets the blast pack so it's a, a little bit of death from the grave and now we're at ourselves a three and three three and three sheriff at hand t1 must win or mat number one this bo3 is going to be flushed down the can Tried his best Last to trade to come flooding in. It's a one on one. It's dazed. I believe taking on Ye. Will be dazed. He's going to hold the high ground. He's able to win that duel. Keeps it alive. And as they're putting a lot of pressure towards middle and also B, they haven't really tried a lot of effort towards A. And that's something I've, I've really noticed this game. And I'm not sure if they did some VOD study, like you said, but they don't seem to be interested at all. But look at this set and Android. They pull the rug from under on these T1 players. Not even able to get this trade. And it will be now AZK to use the roll of thunder. It's going to connect, but they're going to have to push on through. Android, he's going to be in the sight. But we're completely missing it, but Android gets the quad. 13 to 9. Ska, but he will be costly. He's going to be down to 34 HP. We saw before, this is a light purchase round here. But now they're actually going to be able to push on through Ambox. They find now Brax as well. This is crazy. They've got a sheriff at best. They've got nothing to work with. And yay, I don't think he's missed a shot on those one taps, Laz. Not at all from this map to, to the last. Now they're going to be able to get into the site. So it will be Daze. He's going to be close on by. Going to have AZ Gay going for the plant. And Daze, he needs to be careful because now there's going to be a player very close by holding the tight angle. He might be able to find this. He sees the bow out. He's going to be able to take him down. The recon bolt will find him. It will not matter. Spider should be able to help it, but Daisy just gets overrun too much to handle. And now Spider, a little bit of control with the spray, making it three. Can he make it the fourth? It will be AZK to help him out. The same Adrian that we saw in member one. Instead, he'll be playing a new one, and it will be the run it back going to be used from Spider. He's able to find that first frag, so now trying to look for more. He does a bit more damage, but this is becoming an issue once more. Amblox, they're not able to get the site control. They're going to be completely overwhelmed, and Ye finally picks up even more. He picks up a double. He's down to 2 HP, Kappa. 2 HP, Vandal in hand. He's got to make the jump ah, He's fully aware of this. He's not going to get anything at all. Spider, another frag. He got a 3k last round. They can go for the next 3k. Dave, every precaution possible. But look at that. They're given some map control. But at the same time. Brax able to find that opening. Yeah, going to be trying to use the Blade Storm. Actually missing. You can hear them just sushin on by. But it will be days now. He's going to be able to help Brax out. Just two remaining players. And now T1. They've been able to obtain this site for their liking. One enemy and now remaining. all down to Ye. He doesn't have his ult available at all now. So he just got the classic. He picks up the Marshall, but he will fall down. Losing only two, but now he's got a long rotate ahead of them. But now T1, they're going to be able to get this spike down. The defender's allowing them to have this retake situation. There's still plenty of utility that is available from both Ye and, of course, on Android. Getting ready now. Kerbal is going to be very important for them to push on through, but Daze, he's going to be able to take down two, trying to look for a little bit more, but Android, he comes alive with two right back in return, and we have ourselves an advantage situation. All of a sudden now, it's just down to Brax. Bladestorm comes through with two. Now can he make it three? He just needs to burn the time, and yay, he's just going to be coasting on through. He's not actually going for this defuse, but Brax, he's completely bit on it, but is there going to be enough time? Yay should have enough to get this defuse. Right down to the wire here. Yeah, you feeling the pressure, feeling the burn, and he's gonna capitalize and get. You get planted. Spike planted. T one. Have now been able to push on through. They got their teeth sunken into the site now. A four on five situation. Four on five. This is a great situation for T one, but for the site of Ambox, they've got to get in there. They've got to get a piece of the pie. Get out the, the pie server yourself and dish up. Not gonna happen with Spider and Brax popping up like that. It jumps galore, another one. And in comes Poach on that retake attempt. Didn't even the, the best of traits there. Oh, look at that! That's a quad and Spider! 
creeping on through the spider in the room, the corner of the room. He finds four, looking for the ace. Can he find it? No. Nope. The knife will now perish that spider. And now all just down to him. Yay. My god, can he find three more? The spike is down. T1. Need to be careful. They can't play careless at all. You never count Ye out, and this is exactly why. He finds another opportunity. Looking for another, but Brax, the sharpshooter, will take him down. A cost. They, they want that number three. They're not going to take no for an answer. Oh, and now Skadoodle. He knows the last player's there. Six bullets remaining. This is a tough spot to be in. Time is still there. Spike hasn't made its way through, but it's down. Spider is going to be able to take him down, but yay. A little bit of a reply back now. Spike is going to be retrieved in the hands of Skadoodle. They got 29 seconds left. They have to make a plan. And this is a tough spot for the defenders to be in because now you can see both players completely split apart from each other. Android going to try to be the anchor. He's going to be the one that's got all the action. Recon Dart not going to find him. Gets the one. Gets the second. He's looking for more. And now all of a sudden, it's down to the clutch situation. But it won't what? matter because Android, you deliver absolutely big with the thrift. Their confidence at all. But AZK, he's going to be close on by. Look at this, the defenders. Oh, this is a complete trap. But it does go for the trades. So now, Spike will be down. I'm not sure if they spotted. I believe Ye has now located it. But he could potentially find these extra frags. But he's definitely thinking they're close by. He finds another. Gonna use the cloud burst, gonna block up the vision, gonna be able to dash out. Another chance for the duel, and he's survive. able to pull it through again. Fighting tooth and nail through all the carnage, and Brax finally takes him down. We're at a two and two situation. Brax trying to look for a little bit more, and now just down to days. The IGL, no spike in his sight. Plenty of time to burn. He's got some utility as well. No time to be in the days. Yeah, that util. He's got to put it all to work here. It's all order. Out. We've spoken of that. He's speaking of a full glass. This glass is, is wobbling. It's shaking. He's got any HP. He's I got the HP advantage. And he's going to get this frag. Locking down the three. He was completely blind by the paranoia, but he was just peeking a bit too wide. Must have forgot his location, but now the trade frags. It will be Ambox. They're going to be able to push on through. The flash comes in. The curveball. It's made the connection. Another curveball will be used. And now, two remaining players going to be pushing from the back of Cat Skadoodle. Walking his way. He's got the slippers on. He's going to try to go through a tower. Spike planted. He's looking for it. He needs to be able to find this first exchange. And even now, Ambox, look at this. They're pushing on through. They're full of confidence right now. This is, this is what they need to do. They need to be picking up this crap. The Reaper does going to come out. It's going to do grab one. Somehow, some way. It's going to be the three on one. Like, Brax, go big or go home. 3k for you. Brax on the clutch situation. What better player than Brax? A one on three spike. It's actually planned inside the site. The dash comes through, but Andrew. The thorn in the side here for the attackers. Brax now just has to frag out completely. Gonna get spotted by the recon bolt. His position completely compromised, but it won't matter because AZK is able to help him, able to dash on through. Dash on dashes, and now all of a sudden two on three. Both Ye and Seb, the last two players remaining. 15 seconds, they got the spike, but they got no control of the map. This is problematic. They're just going to need to hold these weapons. This 11 round, it's a, it's a gimme. You talk about gimme rounds, it didn't look like a gimme. Brax just absolutely kicking him to the ground in that one. Bully and say no. Ending. The spike is not going to be planted at all. It's not even going to leave. He's in the back of the site. Recon dart Scanning is going to come through. But it will yeah, be are. AZK. He actually does get spotted. So now Poach I'm trying to get ready. He knows something's coming through. But Brax finds the better One of it. And Brax remains. again pulling up two. Trying to make it three. And now he's just able to get the triple, baby. And now putting themselves on a flawless round. And Matt really close. But now it's just completely changed dramatically. And now Spider going to be caught with the paranoia. The cyber cage going to be used. He's going to not be able to make this work. But Daze able to help him out. AZK gets a frag back. And now just two players remaining. These two players need to completely frag out to keep this game alive. They have spike control. They have time with them on their side. Going to be pushing on through dashing. And it's just going to be one player. That is going to be Brax. He's going to be the sole anchor. He's got the eight, or the up, sorry. Holding it down. He's able to get that frag. Now just putting all the pressure in for boy. 
He's going to have to be the big sacrifice. He's going to need to find these openings. And Brax, he's doing a phenomenal job just to burn time for his teammates. But boy, finds that small little bit of an opening. Takes him down. Still time remaining. The players, you can see, a little bit grouped up. A little bit hesitant. AZK, he's close by. This is a very good round for AZK. He's got all the position in the world. He's going to use his TP as well. What better time to use it? Cancels it just to get the intel. And he's got an ID now. A little inkling. This is good positioning from Boy. I mean, the fact that he's been able to creep on through, but he's going to have to do it a little bit quicker. He now has some cover. He knows. Oh, he spots Skadoodle. What's Skadoodle going to be able to put that nail to the coffin? 13 to 4. We're going to map number 3. We are definitely going to map number 3. A team that took each map in a super convincing fashion and science Defenders sealed and delivered. Win. Map number 3. Pro the stun Android. The player's playing very disciplined and not going to try to hunt for this. Android able to get the spike, so he might be able to get the plan. Look at that. Oh. Makes the head, makes the connection. Now he's got nine seconds to go. Both players are going to allow him to get this plant. So that money bonus a little bit in favor here now. Android, he could potentially find this. Gets the one. Gets the second! No what way. on earth is that? That's the no clutch way. from Android with the quad! Owning that bear. Still, ten players in the server. The spike is down. What, what have T1 got for this retake? Will be A. Seeing what he can find. And now AZK gonna go for the full blind. They're gonna try to see another connection. But it's just looking like a bit of an issue. Ooh, some damage gets exchanged. AZK picks up some frags, but Poach. Poaching those players. Spike is still in hand. 25 seconds. Any mistakes? Any oof here? Talking to that kind of oof. That could be the oof to shut it down. Days coming through with the double baby. He wants more though. Surely he's gonna get the potential triple. Not at all. Two versus two. Simma down. And box at T1. 3k coming in from... Spike finally gets planted. A little bit of a delay. Spike planted. We have a 5 on 4 situation now. Cover going Dark out. cover going to be used from Boy. Going to be blocking off that Dory. Another Here. counter will be now used for the connector. That's going to be the ultimate. The rolling back. Or the rolling thunder, sorry, is going to be used. Brax going to be dashing on through. And now even Boy is looking for more. But all of a sudden... Now things have completely gotten different. A two and two situation. AZK gonna hold it, but that's gonna be Ambar. It's the plate on mat number three. For T1, they haven't really had an opportunity to get into the game again. Okay. Speaking of that spider, doubling up here, headshots, another. Running back, taken out of the equation as well. Things are looking a little better here. Things are looking a little bit better now. Day's going to be able to recompose himself. And actually, Spider, look at that. The big flank. He picks it up for three. Can he make it four? Yes, he's going to do a little bit of damage. It hits the feet. And now this is going to be a full three-on-three -three push. Killjoy ultimate lockdown going to be used. But Seb gets the better of it. Skadoodle able to help him out a little bit. But these frags are going in favor for Ambox. Skadoodle pulling things back. And now two remaining players here for Ambox are going to be quite low. Down to just the red. The Hunter's Fury can be used, but now time is completely ticking. They don't have the time, and boy, he's whiffing away, but he makes it finally connect, and that will go in favor for it. And now Skadoodle's still playing very passively. He doesn't have enough weapons to make much of a fight, and he's just going to get completely eaten alive by Android. And now they're just going to swarm against AZK. T1 having a very hard time stopping... Last oh, of grab another one. We are going to see the blade still coming in for two here for Brax. He's at 30 HP. One versus three. Spike planted. Updraft, checking what he can see. He's got nothing. He's got 30 HP, and this is this is looking really icky. Locking sight. Trying to make some kind of a warning Locking sign sight. for Ambox, but they will not fall for it. But now down to 30 HP. He might give his back and actually lands that. Does some big damage, which was against... Yeah, they don't want to go home at all just yet. Android, single off Gardens. That part is coming through. A lot of paranoid players in Gardens. 30 seconds left. Spider. He's able to get two, so he's able to get the spike down. Trying to look for a little bit more. Skadoodle close by to help him out. Spider, he's just been the big issue again and again. But Android now responds back. Boy, able to get the lurk of AZK. So now we have ourselves a two-on-two -two situation. Just leaving it down to Boy by himself. Eight seconds is ticking, but it will be Brax. He puts this op to work. Finally makes the connections needed. Naked and alone HP. 
sitting around that 20 HP mark, <laughs> that one tap region. It puts so much pressure in the last two players. Brank's coming in hot here. Uh, Drifting uh, in. He's not going to be able to get it done. One enemy remaining. Oh my goodness. It's just Now Brax is doing a good job. He's just trying to be on catwalk, but it will be A to find him. So now Android going to come on through. The camera going to get destroyed. Will be the, a lot of utility that's going to be used from both teams' days. He finds the head of Ye. Android creeping on through. He's definitely expecting this, and he can land this frag. And now it's going to be two remaining players making it only one skadoodle. Going for the reload. He's got six shots to make something work, but Seb... We'll give him a full face of lead, and now they put themselves 11 to 3. He's trying to see what he can find. The flash comes in, he's blind, but will not matter. The paranoia going to come through, and but Poach, he gets taken down. Spider makes the connection with the Sheriff. And now T1, they've now made something out of completely nothing. So this is what we need to see earlier. We need to see that high progression. It's coming through now, landing the frags in the one ones they need to. Three on three, every reason the T1 should stay in this. Low on the armor. <gasps> Spider coming out with that one tap as well. Still, two versus two. Trade for trade, eye for an eye. Come on, let's go! Android gonna use the run it back, but the flash comes in, and that's perfect placement, but Android gonna be able to have another chance. Skadoodle by himself. The clutch situation, not able to fulfill his destiny. At all from T1 yet on ascent. Careful now. <laughs> seen some comeback happen from T1 though. Check with the arm drop, like going straight into sight there. Android chasing his target, hoping he can get this to the Vandal. Remaining. The Vandal says, you're done. One player left, it's all on Spider. Three versus one. This is gonna be the tallest of orders. This is to completely keep him in the VCT. It's not gonna happen. Defenders T1 win. going down.